WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this Monday, the 25th of October. We're getting close a week today. We get the wrap up for the month of October. And this is quite amazing. Look at this. The Dow in the monthly chart has started a leg E. In the weekly chart, it started an alternative count D slash B. In the daily chart, remember the Chapman Wave, we're always looking for at least a buy signal to go to a buy mode, taking you to minimum of a peak D. You could go even higher, but the fourth highest peak, that's an obligation. We're at leg D on Friday at 35,765. Today, there's a chance we make peak D if we don't go above that, but we got real close. We're within 20 points of that. And right now you're up 38 to 35,714. Uh, intraday high was uh, the 57 area. So we're watching this closely. Why are we watching this closely? Because the MACD is strong. The stochastic is flat at 96%. That is terrific. On balance, volume is terrible. It's way down. And the relative strength is good. So this daily chart has mixed signals, but the signal that has kept us long <clears throat> has been this nine-period moving average way above the 14, and the price is way above the nine, and you made the cup formation, lopsided cup in a rectangle pattern, and we've gone above that. 35,631 is the key support on the shorter term. Well, let's go to the S&P. S&P at this particular moment, S&P has not made a new recovery high, or all-time high, that is. The high on, on Friday has not been hit. Today, 4556.96. It's got to get to 45 quickly. Uh, 4559.67. So it's just slightly off. But I'm suspecting there's a chance that today we actually make a peak C in the SPY, in the S&P, in the SPY. And then tomorrow, the next day, we make that leg D. So what we're looking at here is we're getting close to some kind of a, at least a short term, uh, digestive phase, QQQ acting okay. It's up a dollar fourteen and three seventy-five. It's really struggling to get out of that range and get into the three eighties. Three eighty-two was the high. Well, just quickly, I want to look at gold. Gold, this particular point is up very sharply. It's up twelve, doing very nicely after that leg D. Crude oil is something we've got to monitor this week because it's right up against that uh, up trend, up channel resistance line. It's at 85.16, and the TLT we'll talk about when I get back from my Tiger Technician's Hour. Hope to see you there. Check out my opening call. Had some really nice calls in that opening call.